Nomad here bring you OG versus the final tribe of the Bucharest Minor Group Stage Qualifiers. No tail in this bottom lane on the Tusk, getting surrounded by members of the final tribe. The Ink Swell starting to stick away. Is there any way for No Tail to get out? Doesn't look like it. He's going to go down to Frost as your first blood. Now, No Tail once again coming in close to Hanskin with a roll in from Jax. Does miss onto Hanskin. Now the Ink Swell is going to come off. They need to kill him before this goes off, but no, the silence comes out. It's going to keep them both stood still. Can they finish on Hanskin? No, the Grimstroke's getting away. And down goes Jax. No Tail needs to get himself out. ILTW has taken a beating here as Frost and Error just start to whack away. He's running out of health. He is dead. No Tail. Oh, Snowball out of the tower onto the Anasim had here. No tail. Running into the trees. But there's a lot of damage coming out. He can't actually go anywhere. He's just going to die to the acoustic and the sandstorm. Up at top now. Jarek's being chased down. He's dropping low to Frost and will fall to the Grimstroke. Oh, ILTW also being chased by Ira here with the Frost Shield. Slowing him right the way down. And now the Embrace. Uh, gonna bring back ILTW. They're trying to surge him away, but there's enough damage from the Phantom's Brace to kill him off. And now, well, with the Avalanche from Chessy, the two heroes getting uh, really kind of jumped here. Seb could be in trouble. He can't get away from this one. The Stroke of Fate gonna finish him off. Down goes the Ducks here. Seb is looking like trouble. The Shard's a little bit off my. Oh, nice Snowball save. Gonna save him from both the Embrace and the Inkswell, but Chessy now in, and that's gonna be more than enough damage to kill Nota. Seb in trouble. Phantom's Brace comes out, follow up with an Inkswell, and there comes a Burrow Strike. Seb surrounded. Error out, Janassa Fan, and Hanskin will find that kill onto the Darks here. Oh, Final Tribe is occupying OG's jungle right now. Thompson is going to be able to kill that Phantom's Embrace, but uh, could be in a little bit of trouble himself. He's stunned up, and there goes actually the Chain Frost as well, just throwing it all onto Thompson's head here. He's quite tanky, especially with that boat coming through, so it might take a while to finish him off. But there's plenty of heroes coming in for this one. Snowball forward onto Handskin. Thompson, not much health. The Burst Strike onto a two, and that will finish off the Conquer. And No Tail, not in much good shape either. And Seb actually being drawn in by error. Well, now they'll just toss him up, and that will finish the job. Down goes the Ducks here, final tribe. One kill. It's all OG have to their name right now as Yanassa fan. And he gets dusted up down here. Maybe, maybe this could be the kill they want as they actually managed to cancel the uh, Sandstorm. But the first try going to interrupt the combo from the Conquer. And we'll use that Snowball Yanassa fan being brought down slowly. But surely can they finish him off the Sands? It's out. And yes, they will find that kill. The second kill for OG in 15 minutes. Uh, up the top lane, they're actually going on to Frost here. He could be in trouble. There's a lot of damage coming out from the Drow, and yep, that will be enough to take him down. Well, Burrow Strike out onto your Nassim fan. Dusk being popped as well, but he does a lot of damage inside this Sandstorm. Held still, both going to come down as well, but he's just not taking anything right now. Too much health, and now the double Burrow Strike coming out with Chain Frost doing so much work. Down goes No Tail, Seb, and Jerax. OG take a huge loss in the middle lane. And farming up, they know he's probably going to try and go for him. This is all a bait, though. Final try, but more than ready for this one. But OG are cautious. Back themselves away. Yep. Oh, they nearly get him with the burst strike. That ward is down pretty well. He does get the surge out, but immediately yields up to cancel that surge. Jax, though, coming in onto Ira here with the snowball as well. Can they do enough damage to finish him off? I'm not sure they can. Now the double chain frost coming through. No tail taking care of in the middle of it. Oh, Jarek gets brought down as well. Tops on the sideline. Can't do a thing as ILTW gets turned on. The double chain frost doing so much work as down goes ILTW. Hanskin will fall to Topson, but now gets ganged up on by the rest of the final tribe. Smoked up, OG going forwards. You know, some fan once again going to be the target. The rock comes through with that slow, but now, well, they'll yield them up. And with the uh, frost shield, doesn't look like there's any support coming in for the final tribe, though. But it's still taking them such a long time to kill this Danky. He's actually going to get the burrow strike up onto the high ground. No way does he make it out of here. Here comes Jerax rolling through. And you know, some fan finally will get finished off. And OG, they're into the Roshan pit. They will go and try and take down the big boy. I wonder if Final Tribe are going to respond to this one. I mean, it's not going to take them forever, but it's not exactly quick either. Zed and Jarek's positioned defensively here. Actually, up onto the high ground for Jarek here. He's going to get silenced up by the Phantoms of Bracer. This could be scary for him, but he's just making space. There does Roshan, so definitely worth it. Chessie finds ILTW. If this guy can get a solo pick up, oh my god, he certainly can. That Aegis disappearing in front of his very eyes. However, they might get a return kill onto Chessie. Under this shrine, they will have enough damage to bring down the mountain. And OG find themselves a kill.
Final Tribe getting their aggression on him. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Jerax just getting killed by Jesse Hill. He's going to try and get the roll away. Might be successful. Meanwhile, Thompson held back by Hanskin. And error up on that high ground. And he'll be able to take down Kunker. He does have buyback, but it's going to be a tough hold for OG. Meanwhile... There she tosses back No Tail. No Tail getting stunned up as well. He's just going to disappear on the task. Chessie's going to take a fall. And, uh, well, OG might actually defend this one as the X Marks comes out with the. Oh no, there comes a double chain frost again, constantly from the final try. Bouncing around, doing so much work. ILTW trying to get away the Soul Find. Seb and Dobson don't know which way they want to go. It does look like they might not chase this one final try, but they're just happy with the retreat. Mid lane. Pro strike out onto Topson. The X marks not actually used because of that annoying as Avalanche. And uh, well, no, Wills comes out and they toss the one away. But there comes the silence. Grip strike coming in from time with a double sword by double embrace, double burrow strike. Topson's brought down. Jack's not looking too healthy either. How comes the second Phantom Embrace and Frost will come in to sweep up that kill? Final tribe now going down this middle lane. Looking for a G. Chessy jumping in. The toss back onto ILTW. Throws him way out of position. Now the Burrow Strike to finish off as well. ILTW is dead. Does buy back immediately, but no tail. He's going to get fought down as well. There's no tusk for this fight. He does not have buyback. No conquer either. And uh, final tribe. They're going for these barracks. They may just go for more down the bottom lane now. Well, the vacuum up into the snowball. Does a bit, but not enough so far. The damage coming out from ILTW onto Chessy just doesn't do a thing as Frost picks off Jarax here. And OG back themselves away. There is an epicenter. Questionable. Zoning epicenter, we'll call it. OG. Well, they're jumping onto Era now. Maybe this is a kill they can get as Jarax actually goes up onto the high ground. Slight like play there as a chain cross going to jump on to two, actually. And now they bring it back with the burst strike as well and get these two isolated off. This fight is weren't truly split. As Seb, it's isolated. Can they bring him down? Meanwhile, Frost just chasing down Thompson here all by himself. He doesn't need a team. As Seb is finished off on the back lines and Frost chases over everybody else. GG, it's called. Final Tribe take game one rather convincingly at that. Game number two, final try versus OG. Well, in comes Jerax on the Oracle, gonna hold still error. Maybe they can get this first blood in the uh, zero minutes. They chase down error, the blocks from LTW, and that will be a kill for them. As uh, Chessy now takes a whole chunk of damage. Look at how much this uh, Skyrath is outputting. Oh, it's not enough Noltausmans, and now a Hanskin TP's into this one. I'm not sure that's the plan. It's <laughs> awesome, like two hits in, Jesus. Meanwhile, up at top, you know, that's a fan trying to get away. They will use the Mana Void by ILTW. Doesn't want to fall for this. They will still get the kill, though. Radiance bottom tower. Up at the top, strike out onto ILTW. And he's going to pop that counter spell and run forwards with Jarex as well. They might be able to finish off an Asim Hen here, but ILTW taking a fair chunk of damage. Doesn't matter, though. He's going to go forwards and keep on trying to find this kill. And skin, he gets bought down by Jarex as well. Although Frost coming in to even things out. Up here at top, a quick reaction from Jarek's going to get his anti mage to safety. And they might even consider turning this one around. That's my friend. They come with the root. And now the damage follow up from Topson as well. And Frost cannot withstand it. Down he goes. The build from the Scarab Power Treads and five Null Talismans, but here comes a Soulbind. Hanskin running forwards, Inkswell out, and the Double Daggers doing their work. Topson getting beaten down by Chessie here. They will be able to finish him off, and the Banishment on to uh, Jarek's gonna mean he's gonna go down as well. Two kills for the final tribe. Well, OG looking for this middle tower. No tail on his brew. Chessie spotted. Maybe they jump forwards on him now, but he gets forced up up to the high ground. Very defensive. ILTW waiting for the jump. Doesn't want to do it just yet. Yeah, wants to assess the situation. Now goes in and will finish up Chessie. But yours is out onto Hanskin as well. The Brimstroke should be falling as well. And they will find it on OG getting two kills. That's the man. Could be in trouble. Thompson drops down the Mystic Flare. Can he finish him off? He needs a little bit more damage as the Sandstorm comes out. He had no vision. This is awkward. But now, there we go. The dust from Notel will sort out the Sanking. Now OG on the high ground. They have his anti mage. He's got his Battle Fury. And uh, he's looking to take a tier four. Tier 3, sorry. Heals being thrown. And uh, we're gonna. Ooh, up onto the high ground, and Asim Fan. Is Tom gonna spin off on No Tail? Yes, they can. Does now pull it off. And Asim Fan, though, taking damage, double silence. And there comes the damage from Thompson. OG want this tower so badly as they buy back on the Asim Fan to try and defend this one. Counter spell used. 
So, and there he actually jumps with the counter spell, LTW, very brave, and now Soulbind coming out onto Seb, and No-Tail double sides as well, they free up Seb, but No-Tail gets jumped on by the Burrow Strike, now they're gonna throw a bunch of spells across, No-Tail dropping low, so even drop the hammer for this one, but just don't find any kills on the side of Final Tribe, Cross considering going in, throwing some daggers, that is all, Jesse, chasing Seb, oh, Seb actually gets banished up, which protects him from the Burrow Strike, as LTW turns one in, uh, these uh, phantoms raise up, but quickly takes care of that, and jumping forwards really wants Chessie here, and the mana void will finish him off. Meanwhile, Topson kills Yanassim, and uh, OG fine too. And Frost could be in trouble as well, slowed up by the concussive bolt, and now Mystic Flare comes down as well with the arcane bolts, and they will find that kill onto Frost. The PA is dead for 41 seconds. OG up onto the high ground to finish what they started. They take down that tier 3 and get started on the barracks. Final drive, all they can do is watch, and maybe not even that, as Era's probably gonna fall in <laughs> far too much damage. How dare you be outside your base, Era? Terrifying to play against. As OG will take these bottom wrecks, and maybe look for more. Yep, into the mid lane they go. All five heroes on final drive are up this time around. Waiting for, uh, well, OG actually has some mana, so he's gonna need to uh, regen that up before they fight. Roshan being attempted by OG, final tribe, what can they do here? They're actually going to jump straight away onto No-Tail, they don't want him to get a spin off. Meanwhile, ILTW just going on to the spam on the backlines, he does get the epicenter off, and they actually get the hex off onto ILTW, but he pops a Manta, and now we'll turn this one around. Burst Strike out onto ILTW though, keeping him controlled. Meanwhile, Chessy fighting up on the front lines, the Soul Bind going to finish off No-Tail, go for Seb as well, but the Mana Void does so much! Seb will drop as the False Forest runs out, but Hanskin does die to Topson. Chessy getting low, but in goes Frost onto Topson, finds that kill, the PA does it. Meanwhile, ILTW hunts down the OD, and now looks for the PA as well as Burst Strike is out onto Jackson enough to bring him down the Shallow Grave from Seb, gonna keep him alive, down goes Frost, down goes Jesse, ILTW ripping through this fight, the anti-mage is king, as the Anathan fan trying to run around this fight, I don't even care about him, they're just gonna focus on Roshan, but Era and the Anathan fan are still up, this could be a steal from Final Drive, if they don't deal with his sanking, but, oh OG, they're gonna keep it low, the buyback's coming out, playing it carefully as they just, yeah. <laughs> Era, they spot him and they blow him up. New line Nassim fans still staying inside that pit. ILTW comes in, really wants to finish the but the burst strike is there, and down goes Roshan. Nassim fan just takes the Aegis and Rosh. Very questionable as now your Nassim fan will be happy to die here, but actually ILTW has to jump out of the pit. Topson actually falls to Frost here as the uh, TFT are actually turning this one around and jumping forward. Seb now, he's going to get Shadow Graved up, but I don't think there's much surviving from him as the little Darkseer fights off, but it means nothing. Sorry, the uh, Dazzle. Meanwhile, RTW wants the quick kill onto Hanskin. They'll actually get himself silenced up, and the uh, Soulbind's kind of annoying as Jack goes, Me too, please! And, uh, well, ILTW didn't die in all of that. They might have not got the Roshan, but they're still going to go for the high ground push here. They realize how strong they are. That's my just sitting in this. Meanwhile, they'll use these Brulings to zone out the rest of Final Tribe, get that valuable vision in the night zone, and just push back. Radiant's top are under Throwing out some rocks, but now Burrow Strike into ILTW, but they're keeping him healed up with the Oracle. And, uh, well, now the Banishment comes out onto the AM and Final Tribe. They look like they're they're trying to push back OG and isolate ILTW now, but he's going to pop that Manta now. Actually, uh, counter spells the Burrow Strike, which repositions him slightly, binds himself to Topson. I don't think that's too much of an issue, though. The Double Daggers might be slightly annoying. That is all. Now ILTW actually jumping in, gets a bash off onto Nathan Fan. Can he finish him off here? No, Burrow Strike is safety as they turn it around. It's a big hammer, is it? Enough, though. Topson dropping loads of Frost. Meanwhile, Era is the first to drop. No tell, though. Jumping onto Frost here. The PA could be in trouble, but she blinks down, going aggressively onto Topson here, finds that kill. Meanwhile, RTW is also aggressive as he finishes off another one, but now stunned up, Shallow Graved as well, blinks to safety. And they will finish off this final barracks and OG take a crawling win here. But a win all the same calculated. They do it as game two goes to OG, drawing it to a 1-1 series.